Hello, welcome back to yet another road trip. This is the second in a month, but we are on something really special. This is a club called Supercar Club Arabia. <laughs> As you can hear, we're surrounded by supercars. This is the build-up before the main event. This is the first day, this is registration day, uh, where all of the uh, entrants of this wonderful rally descend on Italy and sign on before we get on this wonderful road trip. Now, as a bit of context, this is an SCA trip. SCA is Supercar Club of Arabia. And the significance is that this is the next installment of my Michelin Missions program. Look at this. <laughs> We're just surrounded by super, super special cars. Um, yeah, as I was saying, this is my next installment of my Michelin Missions program, which means that uh, Michelin have become the primary sponsor of the Supercars Club of Arabia. The idea is that just like they've been doing with me, they are doing the same with this club and that they are uh, facilitating opening doors to allow for very special experiences. Those experiences will unfold over the next few days, but this is the part where everyone descends in one place at one time uh, before the main event starts. So what I want to do is show you around some of the special cars here. It's significant because all of these cars have not come from Europe. They've come predominantly from the Middle East. And there's even one gentleman that has driven all the way down from Russia just for this event. So without further ado, let's go check out some of these very special cars. So there's actually 25, 30 cars joining us on, on this trip. That lineup is only half of them. Let's start with what's immediately in front of us. I haven't been around one of these for a while. Actually, a friend of mine owned one. This is an LP570. When you haven't seen a car like this for a while, you forget how great it looks. It's so cool. But I've got to move down the line and spend some time on this. This car, the owner I've just spoken to, he collected this car yesterday. He's driven it once, just for one day. Uh, I'm not sure if this light is doing it much justice, but it has a very, very special paint. Uh, it's actually part of Lamborghini's historic paint collection. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it, but this gray actually has an orange tint in it. You see on the edge there how it's blending down to this orange finish? I can't wait to get this outside to really show you the color of it. The owner is also very kindly, I mean, check this out. I've known the guy half an hour. He's collected his car one day ago and he's offered me the keys to the car already. So what I'm gonna try and do is hopefully put this on the channel, the driving experience, and cars keep on coming in. We've got here the famous Cars and Coffee Speciali. I'm not sure if he still has the exhaust on it or not, but this thing sounds ridiculous. Um, but this influx of cars, they keep coming in, and it puts a smile on my face to be once again back on the road sharing with you guys some very special things. Um, you know, to see a collection of cars like this all in one place. I know I've been doing this a while, but every time that I walk into somewhere like this, I get giddy like a child, and I'm hoping that by sharing this with you guys, you guys appreciate it too. Anyway, on to what so far I am sure is the most unique car on this trip. So, obviously, McLaren 720S, but the owner has gone and hand-picked aftermarket parts from multiple brands to make his interpretation of how he wanted this 720S to look. So not one carbon accessory is necessarily from the same brand. Take this extended splitter here, for example, matched with this totally different carbon side sill here, and then an insert. So this insert, in fact, if I go around the side here, let me just show you from this side pro profile. <laughs> look at this. Look at this sweeping contrast section. I've never seen that on a factory spec or any other 720S. This guy has really gone and cherry-picked his options. Like this whole piece is a single piece of carbon fiber. And then he's got this different sill here, which has this sort of sculpted section around the back. And he's gone really big on the carbon here and had this wing in carbon. Now, I'm not sure if this is an, an MSO option or a factory option, but he's gone and cherry-picked his own carbon accessories, finishing off with this massive carbon diffuser. And it's even, if the camera will pick it up, on the inside, these struts here. They're all carbon, all the way underneath here. This, I'm yet to see outside, but I would imagine when we get these cars in their proper light, 
this is going to look something special on the road. And then I guess, arguably, the ultimate style component on this is the Reventon style carbon plated alloys. I mean, it's a complete package when you stand back from this thing. I've never seen a 720S look so different. It's crazy. not standard uh, AMG GTS. <laughs> made our way to a very uh, rainy petrol station. A few of us have uh, joined. This is the part where we try and navigate an Italian petrol station in the middle of the night when there's no one around to help uh, and decide if any of our cars will work in this pump. We'll see what's happening uh, at the same time as being next to this incredible machine. I always forget the sculpture on these. Look at that. This bike should be in a museum. In fact, these are basically museum windows to display that wonderful V12 within. Anyway, let's see if we can work out this. Uh, we out take your card. Use this. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just making up the Italian on it. <laughs> I'm guessing now. And then uh, choose pump. The display. Pick your pump. Uh, one. One. Is it one? Don't press yeah. diesel and fire away. <laughs> Oh, this one's got Super Plus. Uh, Super Plus is what we need. we need. Do we not have one on no. ours? We've only got normal? Let's have a look. What is that? There, this is just Super. Super. Well, we've got it. We might as well as well do that. Oh, by the way, Sam's, Sam's back. So Hello. Sam is co-driver once again. <laughs> uh, he's going to get to experience the Gen 2 GT3, which... For the um, first time! Amazingly, you haven't driven yet. I know. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to it. So Sam, Sam's a, a uh, regular GT3 yeah, Gen. 2997 GT3 RS driver. Yes. So it'll be interesting to see your thoughts on on this thing. Yeah, I tried to I tried to get one of these, and yeah. then the Porsche said no. Uh, <laughs> As they do. And I was gonna I was gonna try and get a manual, but I haven't been in this car, experienced anything about it. So I'm cool. I'm really interested to see whether it feels like more refined, too refined. Like I don't know. Yeah. The engine. Fun, I think it's good. This is it. Well, we're in the right place for it. We're just trying to find out the name of this incredible color on th this Aventador S. Now, on Ferraris, it's often underneath the... Oh, here's, is that, is that yes. Verde Artemis? Verde Artemis. So, this light isn't quite doing it justice because it's ultimately quite dark outside. Uh, but take it from me, it is an iridescent metallic turquoise and it's one of the best colors I've ever seen on an Aventador, which is saying something because over the years, let's face it, people have put some incredible wraps even on cars like this. But what a difference in feel. I mean, okay, fundamentally a very similar shape, these two cars. The difference between the two, now this, as I mentioned earlier, very special paint. But to see something so bright and glowing as this, I can't wait to follow it. Both of these cars have magnificent pops and bangs on the overrun. I'm so pumped for this tour. Really, really am. Speaking of pumps, we should probably fill up our car. service at all it's one of my favorite cars but in the UK we never got PTS so for those of you guys who might not be familiar with that term uh, Porsche offer a service called PTS which is paint to sample which basically means you can have a custom paint or a paint which is out of range of the standard options list uh, that Porsche offer in the UK we didn't get it so every time that I see a GT3 which is the same as my car in a color that is outside of the normal spectrum 
It's fascinating because in the UK we see the brightest we got is Miami blue and we also got racing yellow which is quite a primary flat yellow and, and guards red. That's about as bright as it got. So anything outside of that spectrum, the majority of GT3s in the UK, they were many shades of grey and silver and black which they look great but they're just not quite as exciting. So when I see a car out of paint range, it's so special. Also arguably another perfect long road trip rally car, GTC4 Lusso. If you watch the channel regularly, you might recall that I recently spent a whole day in one of these, blown away. It's basically a four-seater F12 with that engine. It's so, so good. And actually versus the FF, that slightly longer wheelbase and extra dish seats has made the back of this thing an actual practical car. Well, the features that I want to show you on this, which might not stand out at first, is the hand-painted tailor-made option lines on the outside of this car. Now, this might not seem a big deal, but the tailor-made program from Ferrari creates some very bespoke specs. These accent lines here, these are all hand-painted lines. This is not a sticker. In this environment, because it's got Michelin stickers and SCA stickers on it, you'd be forgiven for thinking that these highlights were stickers, but these are hand-painted lines that are surrounding the shapes and flows and accents of this car, even around to the back here, like accentuating the sculpture of the car. And when you get up on it and you appreciate that these are all hand-painted, it's a really nice, subtle finish. Once again, we've got to get these things outside to fully appreciate them, but I love that car. And of course, where wouldn't we be without talking about my own car? Now, I'm so happy to get this car on a rally for the second time. It did Gumball three weeks ago. It only did the uh, Euro leg of that. And then I got to Japan and Aston Martin very kindly gave me a DB11 Volante. Uh, interestingly, I actually left this in Italy to then fly to Japan. And now I've recently been reunited with it in Italy again. And since then, it's been back to England for a week and then come back on a truck back to Italy. So right now, it's done more miles in Europe than it has done in England, which is hard to believe. Um, having said that, we've only just approached 5,000 miles, and I shall be doing a, a 5,000 mile living with roundup of this car soon. And that also means the next stage for this car, which is Sharkworks exhaust. It's been sat in my house for quite a while, waiting to go on, but I like to spend a time with a car before putting an exhaust on it first, uh, just so that I appreciate the change. So Sharkworks exhaust is coming with us soon. And just two more cars before I sign off. Now, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that there was a car that has joined us from Russia. Well, here it is. The TT, RS, no less. This guy has actually driven from Russia to be here. Now, we are on the shores of Lake Maggiore in Italy, which is just about half an hour outside of Milan, just to give you some context to just how far this guy's driven. Uh, and he is embarking on this journey, which I think is around about 12 days. Now, I'm only doing a few of those days. I shall explain that more when we get on the road with Sam tomorrow. Uh, but you gotta give it up for this guy, like the dedication, next level, and then, this car here. Now, I'm not sure if you guys will recognize this car or not. It's actually featured on my channel in a different format, very early days. This is Oliver Webb's car, so he will also be joining this journey. For those of you guys who don't know Oli, he's featured on my channel a lot. He's a professional racing driver, uh, competed in World Endurance Championships, and on, on occasion also instructs me how to drive better. It's had this incredible wrap done for it. It's a lovely pearlescent white Turbo S arguably the perfect car for a fast-paced road trip like this. So we've got a really eclectic group of people, a fantastic array of cars, and what's great about cars that come from the Middle East is the spectrum of colors is relentless. It's everything, every spectrum you can think of. So not all of the cars are here yet either. So tomorrow is when I want you to really tune in and see the full collection of these cars. We're all gonna be outside. Right now, as you've seen, it's raining. So hopefully it'll stop raining. The sun will come out. We'll have all of these colors and cars outside for one big group photo before we hit the road. I'll be able to immerse you as always in what it's like having cars from the Middle East joining us over here in Europe for the drive of their lives. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.